So we sent 90,000 personal outreaches per month in my agency and book roughly five meetings every day on autopilot and I'm not even a part of the process. And you may be thinking, well, how is that even possible to send that high amount of volume out? Cold email. We use nothing else but cold emails to send outreaches out to our perfect customer profile and we're getting quite a high response in one of the most saturated niches e-commerce. So for those of you who do not know what cold email is, cold basically means that we have not had any previous touch point with the customer that we want to contact. And then we are finding the data points about them and then we're sending out an email to them, so cold email. So I will show you how to generate thousands of leads for your niche. I will show you how to set up a software that can send out the emails for you because you don't have to do this yourself. And then I will show you how to set up a campaign and write some beautiful copywriting that will convert into high paying customers for your business. So if you do not know me, which you probably don't, my name is August and besides my agency, I'm the co-founder of client culture that build these highly profitable client acquisition systems inside of B2B businesses. So if you instead just want to skip all the mistakes and get straight to booking meetings and closing clients, just click on the link below and watch our free training video. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and use the link down in the description and go into a poll right here. And then you want to sign up with an account, but I'm just going to log in because I already have an account. So now we want to go ahead and choose the customer avatar that we want to work with. So in my case, I want to go after Ecom. In, uh, in my case, I want to go after Apparel Brands. So I want to filter those out. So the first thing that I want to go ahead and do is do the location. So in my case, I'm going to go after US, so United States right here. And I'm going to filter out the industry that I want to go after. In my case, it's going to be Apparel and Fashion. And you can find tons of different industries down here. Now you want to go ahead and click on technologies down here in the bottom. And I'm going to choose Shopify right here because I want to ensure that they have Shopify installed. So it is an e-commerce store or WooCommerce in this case. You want to go ahead and click on email status as well. And what I do is I just click on this. I click on guest. I also click on user manage and new data. So I'm getting as much data as possible because if you are just putting one of those out, there will be a lot of leads that you uh, actually could contact, but you are filtering out. So be careful not to put ma too many filters on, uh, but just be sure that you are filtering out your customer every time. So now I want to go ahead and choose the size of the company. And I always do that through employers, the amount of employees that they have. So I want to choose one to 10 and also want to choose 11 to 20 right here. So now we can see I have roughly 20,000 leads that I can uh, scrape. So in my case, I'm just going to scrape 25 for the sake of showing you, but you can just scrape as many as you want to. It's just about filtering out your leads here. So you want to click on export all emails instead of export verified emails only. And then you want to click on edit export CSV settings down here because we want to find some data and you want to click on contact CSV for export. Click on this and you want to ensure that you have all this available. Something to keep in mind is that we use variables inside of the email campaigns in order to make it personalized. So all these variables we can put in. So for every single lead, we can put in the first name, we can put in the company name, we can put in the city where the company is based in. Uh, so we can make the emails more personalized. So these variables are super, super important that you scrape as well in order for us to be able to personalize the messages in bulk and to make it super, super scalable. So what I want to do is I want to deselect all. I want to choose the first name, last name, title. I want to choose the city, country, Facebook URL, LinkedIn URL in, uh, as well. The amount of employees, industry, and you actually want to choose company, city and set. And you want to choose email, obviously. You want to click on phone number if you can get that. You want to choose personal LinkedIn, and that's pretty much it, I, I guess. So you want to go ahead and click on save settings. Whenever you're done with that, you want to click on export records. So now we have the leads, which is the most important thing, obviously, who are we contacting with our offer? So use the link down in the description to save 10% off instantly.ai lifetime. And it's going to be a lot in the long term because you're never going to stop using this software as soon as you learn setting this up. So now you want to go ahead and click on start for free right here. And I'm already logged in, so you just want to go ahead and set up an account. So now you're coming into the software. So it is now time to set up our campaign. So before you set up the account, you have to add all your own emails to this account. And you can see that I have a lot of different emails right here because you cannot send out from your main email. And the reason for that is that it is not human behavior to send thousands of emails from your own account. No, you have to spread it across multiple different burner accounts that you are setting up. So it's quite simple to set all these email accounts up. And I'm not going to go through that today because it will probably take 10, 15 minutes more. Um, but it's quite simple to set up. So you just want to go ahead and set up multiple burner emails and burner domains through Google Workspace or through Outlook or through uh, Square or whatever. Now you want to go ahead and click on the add new campaign. And then you want to add the campaign based on what we have just scraped because basically who we are targeting out in the campaign. So it's super, super simple to get an overview because as soon as you are launching a lot of campaigns at the same time, it's nice to know who you are sending it to through the campaign. So in my case, I'm going to use Apollo because that's where we scrape from. The amount of uh, employees, I want to choose the size of the company. So that is 2 to 25, or 1 to 20, I believe, employees. And then we have Apple and Shopify US. So that is how I name the campaign. You want to click on continue right here. Then you want to click on import. And you want to import the CSV file that you just uh, downloaded from Apollo. 
click on here and you just want to put in all the variables as custom variables right here upload all and you want to upload the contacts so now we have the leads now it's time to write a campaign for them and the, in the subject line you want to write something appealing something uh, that can awaken their curiosity without uh, spoiling what is inside of the emails so what i would just use here you know quick question use these kind of subject lines that are awakening their curiosity uh, but do not tell what is inside of the email so quick question it is very, very saturated but you can just use that if you just want to get some responses and you want to click on quick question first name because now it's filling out with the first name that we just scraped from the software so we want to go ahead and write Hey, first name. Been following the company name for a while on LinkedIn and really impressed with what we have achieved. So this is the icebreaker right here. And don't mind that you can make this way more personal, uh, the more information and the more data you have about each customer. And we actually make this way more personal. So what we do is that inside of the leads right here, we make a new bracket. So we put this into Google Sheets and we made a, make a new bracket where it's personalization. And then we get a virtual assistant to go in to the personal LinkedIn and then write a personal line for each and every single one. So what we do right, instead right here, instead of the icebreaker where we're just making something generic that they will maybe not respond back to, to as frequently as maybe doing something like this. Then we have the personalization. So imagine that we have a, another line right here where we are making a personalization. So this would show uh, the line that, that we have gotten a virtual assistant to write right here, which is quite uh, quite smart in order for you to personalize your messages in bulk. And after the icebreaker, we're gonna go ahead and put in the offer. Then we're gonna put it in the trust. Then we're gonna put in the call to action, then signature. So the offer is, in my case, it's gonna be so we can see a 20% profit increase in 90. So we help apparel brands because we've just scraped the apparel brands, which means that all the people inside of this campaign are apparel brands. So we can specify the campaign towards the audience that we're targeting out. So this is quite smart. That's why I don't want you to like scrape generic, scrape generic information about a, lot, a ton of emails with a ton of different businesses. You want to choose the same business and make a new campaign for each and every single one so you can personalize it. So we help apparel brands increase their profit by 20% in 90 days. And you can do exactly like company name, increase the profit by 20% in 90 days, or you don't pay a penny. You want to choose trust right here. And uh, a lot of people say something on the internet. What separates you from the rest is that you actually have something to back it up with. So you want to put in a case study of a previous clients uh, that you have worked with. So in my case, it's going to be days after partnering up with us. Same, increased the profit by 24% resulting in 83k more on the bottom line and then you want to have the call to action make the call to action short and concise super super simple and easy to understand so you want to use the call to action as would this be worth 20 minutes would it be worth 20 minutes we can do the same for you you want to choose a signature down here in the bottom who are sending the email and you want to go ahead and put in an opt out as well because that is legal requirements in most countries so you want to say if not interested please reply no best august change to mark nio if not interested reply no and you want to put this and make this a little bit smaller so it's it doesn't fill everything. I'm gonna click this on a size 12 or something like that. So you wanna go ahead and click on save here. Add a few steps to it, maybe send three or four more follow-ups. That basically means that if they do not respond, we're gonna send out email to uh, step three, step four. So be sure that you are adding some steps right here. This is mainly just summing up what we mentioned in the previous email right here. You wanna go ahead and click on the schedule and choose the time zone that you're in and the time zone that your leads are in. And now you wanna go ahead and choose on the options as well. You wanna choose the email accounts that you have set it up and send it out from. And now you just want to save and then click on launch the campaign and then you're pretty much ready to go and then it is just about monitoring everything inside of the unibox right here where you'll receive all the emails that you're receiving um, from the emails that you're sending out to so this is super super smart you'll get all the emails assembled in one place everything is just simple throughout the software yeah that's it and that's how you launch your first campaign and obviously this can be improved a lot but this is just to show you how simple it is to send out a very, very scalable client acquisition channel like cold email. And in my opinion, whenever you're running a B2B service-based business like an agency or software business or whatever, you have two solutions when it comes to a scalable client acquisition method. You have advertising, which is quite expensive to start, or you have cold email. So if you want a scalable solution for your business, you need to choose either one of uh, those. We have tried everything else and it's not scalable to do cold calling in the long run because you need to hire more people to get more output or it's not scalable to do uh, Instagram DMs because it's just a pain in the ass with all the restrictions and, and things like that. But be sure that you're choosing a scalable solution whenever you're choosing client acquisition. It's the most important part of your business and you need to choose something that you can actually scale so it's going to be easy for you instead of you making it a logistical nightmare to, to scale it up. So yeah, that's it for this video. Go down, like the video, subscribe, leave a comment if you want to see something else from us because we are launching videos like this every single week and I will see you in the next one.